Well, today at the state capitol, a new proposal to solve the nursing shortage in Minnesota, and the bill is already getting support from both parties. Gordon Severson explains how it will affect nurses and patients. Gordon? The Minnesota Nurses Association quoted a recent survey that suggests around half of all nurses are considering leaving the profession and understaffing and burnout are the biggest reasons why. They argue it's also leading to longer wait times for patients and patients not getting the attention they deserve when they wind up in the hospital. The problems in our hospitals are getting worse, not better. After a long year of contract talks and strikes, Minnesota nurses are back at the state capitol, this time to introduce the Keeping Nurses at the Bedside Act. We can no longer ignore the pleas of our professional registered nurses across the state. Democrat Senator Erin Murphy is the chief author of the bill in the Senate. She says the bill would require all hospitals in Minnesota to create staffing committees made up of both nurses and managers who would set staffing plans for each unit in the hospital, with a maximum limit on how many patients each nurse can safely manage during a shift. So they can talk about it at a hospital by hospital way how to handle these issues. Republican Senator Jim Abler also supports the bill. He says the bill would also create a grading system for hospitals so patients can see whether a hospital is actually following their staffing plan. Hospitals would also be required to post wait times for their emergency departments and staffing information so patients can choose which hospital has enough staffing to meet their needs. We want to provide outstanding care to our patients, but we are pressed to do more and more with less and less. The Nurses Association says the bill also addresses nurse recruitment and retention, allotting $10 million a year to help with mental health related issues, $5 million towards student loan forgiveness for nurses who work at the bedside, and money to help nursing students pay for childcare while they're attending classes. We can't continue to build the pipeline and have nurses coming into a system that burns them out and sends them out. The Minnesota Hospital Association is against the bill. They sent out a statement this afternoon saying, quote, if enacted, this proposal would have a drastic, ne drastic negative impact on patient care. Patient needs are continually evolving and the COVID-19 pandemic has further highlighted the importance of flexibility at the bedside. This is just one argument that the association made against this bill. We posted their entire statement on our website at care11.com. All right, Gordon, thanks.